Hello uh, students, so this video we are going to see a hexagonal prism, isometric view. So here we can look at the question. So it is given as it is a hexagonal prism. So hexagon means it has six sides, base and top, and base side is 25 mm and axis side is 70 mm. Okay, and one of the edge of the base is parallel to VP. So it is given. One of the so it is having six sides. So on the six, one of the edges parallel to VP and inclined a yeah, section plane perpendicular to VP and 40 degree inclined to HP. Cuts the axis of the prism 55 mm above the total height is 70 mm. So 55 mm above the HP. So draw the isometric projection. So first we can draw the normal diagram since one of the base edge is parallel to VP. So it is a, a six side it has. So we can draw like this. We can give the name at the base A, B, C, D, E, F, everything in bracket because it is at the bottom, the top portion we are going to remove it. Now for this 70 mm axis height, I am just drawing there. So here this is the axis. So in this axis, the total height is 70 mm and I am going to take 55 mm. So this portion it will cut. It is 40 degree. 40 degree it will cuts. Now, so this portion I am going to name it and whenever it cuts the top portion means we have to project the same point at here. This is 1, this is 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash, 7 dash, 8 dash and again here 9 dash. So this is 9, sorry 9. So these are the points. Now here we can hash this. Like this way, now we can draw the isometric views. So here we can put this in the box. Here this won't be. So here we can put it in the box. Here we can name it as PQ or yes. Here the shortest height. In the previous problem, we have taken Q. This problem we can take for a change. We can take R at here. This is R 30 degree, 30 degree both the line. So from the R, this is the R, yes, the length we have to measure and make it a arc here and from R to Q, Q this is yes and now we can cut like this. Now we can find out the in between points between R and Q at the middle D is available. Next in between P and Q uh, B and C is available. This is B and this is C and next this is E and this is F. And this is A. So now we can join all the things. Okay, now so we can find out equal heights. So this side will be A dash, A1 dash. So from here, from A1 for the whole total height, A1 will be available. And for here, 1 and 9 we need to identify. So this 1 and 9 is in between P and Q. So this is the length. So this length we need to measure, this P and Q, where the P and Q, this is P and Q, in between P and Q, starting from P, this is the way. So these are the two points, this is, so this is 1 and this is 7, sorry 9, from this height here, here also the height, we can measure it like this, the total height. Now from each and every point, we can mark it. So we can join it like this. So this will be the isometric projection. So we can draw it in the paper. First, we can draw the normal diagram. So this is Y, VP, HP, and this is X. Now we can draw the parallel line here with the length of 25 mm. The length of 25 mm, we need to take it at here 1 to 2.5. 25 mm is given in the question. So, next by using the engineering template, this hexagon. So, 25 will be 1, 2, 3, 4, fourth point, fourth hole. At this fourth hole, 
We can mark it like this. Now we can join all the points. So I can give the name A, B, C, D, E, F. Now I will draw with the height of 70 mm. I can join it. So now I can give the name. This is A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, again F dash. So then this axis line also. This is axis line. In this axis line, I am going to take. Fifty five mm. So fifty five mm, forty degree. I need to take it. Fifty five mm, forty degree. Either this side or this side. I am going to take at this side. So by joining it, I will get. This one. So this is already we have mentioned in the rough diagram. Same way here also it comes. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Again seven. So this is one dash, two dash. 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash and 7 dash. So we got it. Next for the here this also, this is A1 dash. So this is the value. So now we can proceed the problem. Here we can also hash this. So this will be A1. So this part still it will be remaining at a flat, the top. So this will be a slanting one and this will be a flat and slanting one. Both will be available at here. Next, here we can draw the baseline and we can fix the point. And here also we can fix it in a box. So this will be P, Q, R, S. So here the point R we are going to make it and here we are going to make both the side 30 degree. Both the side 30 degree. Thirty degree. Now, by using the compass, this is R means from the R, the next point will be yes. We are just going to measure this distance, and this is yes. Okay. And next, from R, the next point is Q is here. This is Q. We can mark it, and from here also the same value. Here also we can mark it. Next. 
from Q, this is P. You can measure it and you can make the same measurement. Sorry. At here. So this is the point. Now we got it. Here, this is not a square. This is not a square. So uh, Q or S and this is P. So these are the points. Now just we are going to find out the each and every point at here by using the compass from P to S. At the middle we are having from P to S. Middle we are having the point A. Like the same way Q to or middle we are having the point D. Next. From Q to P, from Q to P, we are having this distance and is all the distance are equal here. So now we got all the points. So in between P and S, we are having A and this is B and this is G, C, D. And this is E and this is F. So no need to join in between first. First we can identify the top portion, then we can identify it. So next, uh, here starting from A, this, this is having the whole length. The whole length is 70 mm. The whole length is 70 mm. That is A. So for here, we can draw. 70 mm axis height, we can make it. So, this is A1, we got it. Next, look at here, this is P to B and S to R, this 1 and 7 is falling. So, we can measure this distance. It's very small, too small to, to, for measuring in, this is 7 mm. From P to Q, from P to Q is here. From P to Q, 7 mm is here. And from P to Q, 7 mm is here. Now you can join these two. Now, from here you can measure it by using the compass. From PQ, from PQ, you can mark it at here. And then this also the same value. So here also you can mark it at here. So now this is this point is 1 and this point is 7. For here also we have to mark the same height that is 70 mm. So this is 7 and this is 1. We got the points. Next. Again for all the points we can directly draw the perpendicular line. Then by using the compass we can measure and make the dimensions later. For E and then for F. So for all the points we made it, now we can mark it at here, we can measure it. First, B, B to 2, B to 2 and F to 6, B to 2 and F to 6, it will be at here, 6 and this is 2, mark, next. From C to 3 and F to 5. From C to 3 and F, sorry, E to 5. Three. Next, from D 
two four this is four now you can join all the points by a straight line four where the five is here the five is then for six then for seven again two three then one two again this one and seven we can join it like this now also we can join this this also can be darken f now this can be joined by dotted lines Now also we can hash this. So this is our required solid. So here also we can make the dimensions. So the dimensioning will be here. So this is twenty-five, and here this is fifty-five, and this is fifty-five, and this is seventy. So we got all the. Alex. So this is a way of proceeding it. Thank you.